The much-anticipated matchup between the number one and number 11 teams in the country got underway Sunday night. Top half of the fourth inning, it's Benton Yon getting the Georgia College Bobcats on the board in a scoreless ball game after Blake Hobby goes three full innings of shutout ball. The Bobcats get three in the fourth. Saints trying to answer, bottom half of the fourth inning. Bases are loaded after Seth Atkins walks. So Tom Cantrell and the Saints know they have to answer here. Alan Fredrickson lines into a double play, and one batter later, it's Cameron Crawford at the plate with two strikes. He'll take one on the outside corner for the final strike of the inning. So the Saints load the bases with nobody out and can't bring anybody home. To the bottom half of the fifth inning we go. Bellavance at the plate with two aboard. He goes right side. It'll fall in. It'll be a double for Kenny Bellavance, and he will play two, and North Georgia within striking distance. or score now at 3-2 to two in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Bellavance would be stranded. So now we go to the bottom half of the seventh inning. Still 3-2. to two. Saints with two on in scoring position, and at the plate, it's Terrell Jones with two aboard. He goes right side, but it's Benton Yawn getting the glove on it. He'll beat Jones to the bag for the final out of the inning, and the Bobcats get one more insurance run. They get the win, 4-2. So with the loss, the number 11 team in the country trying to bounce back the next day as the Saints return for the doubleheader against the Bobcats. It's scoreless in the bottom half of the second inning. Saints have a runner on, and it's Dustin Carpenter with a poke through right field. Kenny Bellavance hustling around from second. He will score without a throw, and the Saints have the one to nothing lead. They weren't done yet in the inning. Denver Stovall with two outs. He goes into right center field, and it gets over the head of the right fielder. Sean Ward coming all the way in to score from first base is Dustin Carpenter. And the Saints have a two to nothing cushion. Well, we go now to the top half of the third inning. Bobcats trying to answer, and they will. Down the line goes Sean Ward. Two runs come in, and we're tied at two apiece. Georgia College would answer with one more as well in the inning. So it's 3-2 to two now, bottom half of the inning, and we got ourselves quite a shootout going. Bellavance goes into right field with two outs. Coming on is Ward. He'll dive. Can't get to it. It'll fall in. A base hit for Bellavance and an RBI scoring from second is Terrell Jones. And we're tied at three, bottom half of the fourth inning, still knotted up at three apiece. It's Jordan Ayersman getting in on the mix. A line drive over the bag at third will play to run as Carpenter scores for the second time on the day, and it's four to three. In the fifth inning now, the Bobcats will answer again. A poke into right field will play two, and it's six to four Bobcats, and back and forth we go in this seesaw game. Bottom half of the eighth inning, Saints just got the two runs in off the double by Dustin Carpenter, and it's Troy Snicker with two on in scoring position, striking out, so to the ninth inning we go. Jacob Rickett comes in, and he surrenders the solo home run to Matthew Robinson, the first on the year for the Bobcats' second baseman. That makes it seven to six. Bottom of the ninth inning. Carpenter, the final chance for the Saints, and he goes down swinging your final in game two. Bobcats seven, North Georgia six. Both teams would turn around and play the game three finale in Monday's double header. The Bobcats get in front early, two to nothing, and the Saints trying to answer with two outs. They will. Troy Snicker a poke to right field. Terrell Jones comes all the way in from first base, and the Saints make it a one-run ball game. Kenny Bellavance, the next batter. He goes up the middle. Troy Snicker will score with a slide, and just like that, we're tied at two. Brad Hall says we're not done yet in the first. He gets a base hit, and Bellavance with the dipsy do around the catcher. He'll score. Saints have the lead, three to two, and Dustin Carpenter then would drive in Brad Hall. Bang, bang, play at the plate, and it's 4-2 to two Saints. They take the lead. Now into the third inning. Routine ground ball over to Derek Cooper. Gets right through the wickets, though, and the Bobcats end up getting two in the inning, and we're tied at four apiece. In the bottom half of the third inning, the first pitch of the inning seen by Brad the Bull Hall. Yep, see you later. Shot to left field, the second of the season for the senior, and the Saints ball back in front. 5-4, to four. but from there on, the Bobcats would go on a tear. A handful of walks and some timely hitting would give the Bobcats eventually the lead right back as we go to the top half of the eighth inning where they get a couple of more and they take the lead 7-5. to five. They don't look back from there. They continue to pour it on as we go into the top half of the ninth inning and the Saints bullpen just doesn't have enough in the tank. It's a sack fly later on in the ball game makes it an 11-5 score and eventually... That would be your final. Bobcats a winner by six. They take the series. 
Some players of note for the Saints. Jesse Coxwell, big out of the pen. He went four innings, giving up just two hits and had three Ks. Kenny Bellavance, eight of 15 with four RBIs on the weekend. Dustin Carpenter, five of 11, two doubles. He has his average up over 300. And Blake Hobby, big again, as he went eight innings with eight strikeouts. The Saints hit the road this weekend. They take on Georgia Southwestern.